So as many of you know by now, Bernie Sanders has officially received the endorsements of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, and Ilhan Omar. Now, I did a segment about how Elizabeth Warren has been aggressively courting the endorsements of at least AOC, but I'd assume that she's also courting the endorsements of other members of the squad as well. I believe I talked about this, I want to say six months or so ago, so we know that she was vying for this endorsement. However, Bernie got that endorsement, and she found out about this in real time on national television, and it was evident that she was gutted. Senator, your staff is telling us that we have to let you oh, know. You've sorry. been very generous with your time, but before you go, I do want to get your reaction. Um, uh, Senator Bernie Sanders on the stage alluded uh -huh. to the fact that he was having this big rally he was in Queens, uh -huh. and he was going to have special guests. We have, we have found out, CNN has been told by sources, uh, that uh, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh -huh. from New York, uh, Ilhan Omar from Minnesota, and Rashida Tlaib from uh, Michigan are going to be endorsing uh -huh. um, Senator Sanders, uh, you're in the progressive lane with him as well. I know that those are three allies of yours as well. Um, what, what do you make of that? Are you disappointed that they're not endorsing you? Look, I have great respect for all three of those women. I think they are terrific. And here's what I know for sure. When this primary is over, we're all going to be on the same side. All right, Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat of Massachusetts. Thank you. Man, you can tell that um, she was very, very disappointed. Now, before I say anything further, let me just say, admittedly, I still haven't gotten over the fact that Elizabeth Warren didn't endorse Bernie Sanders in 2016. Like, I truly felt abandoned. She was someone who I looked up to, and I really felt like she was a reliable ally in the Senate. And for her to abandon Bernie Sanders and not endorse him when that was make or break, essentially, in Massachusetts... It hurt me deeply, and I still haven't gotten over it. So because those feelings are still there, um, I kind of feel torn on this, right? Seeing her feel gutted, it kind of makes me feel bad for her um, because, you know, she's a human being, and I care about human beings. To see her that disappointed, you know, it's kind of hard to see anyone like that. And I still like Elizabeth Warren. It's just that in a race between her and Bernie, it's Bernie 110%, right? However, that's one side of me, right? That's, that's the nice version of Mike who is responding. The uh, dickhead version of Mike is thinking, this is the taste of your own medicine. This is what you did to us in 2016, and this is how we felt. That feeling of you being abandoned that you feel now, Liz, this is exactly what we felt in 2016. So I'm torn, right? Uh, like, I don't, I don't want to see anyone feel disappointed, but I hope that she understands now why having political allies is really important. And if you don't back progressives, if you abandon them, then later on, the same could happen to you. If you're going to be aligned with progressives, then you've got to be there for us at times when we really need you. Elizabeth Warren wasn't. And, um, yeah, now progressives aren't supporting her. We're still supporting Bernie. And uh, she is not getting the endorsement of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and other members of the squad. Perhaps Ayanna Presley will endorse her. But out of all the squad members, she's probably the one with the least amount of name recognition. And Ayanna Presley was a Hillary Clinton supporter, uh, maybe even a surrogate, I'm not sure, back in 2016, who was critical of Bernie Sanders. So Elizabeth Warren could get that endorsement, but Bernie got the main, like, three of the most important, prominent progressives. Um, so... I understand why she feels disappointed, but, uh, you know, hopefully if I can kind of uh, blend my two uh, disputing feelings together, blend both mics, evil, evil mic and nice mic together, what I would say and leave you all with is um, hopefully Elizabeth Warren will understand the reasoning for this endorsement and acknowledge the importance of allies and really being there for allies in, in times of great need. Um, and I'll leave that there because I feel like if I keep talking about this, I'm just going to say something mean and then I'm going to regret it. So, um, yeah, that's Elizabeth Warren's reaction. I feel a little bit bad, but also I don't.